This is the man, Kai Dunbar, who is serving time in a Texas prison right now after pleading guilty to unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon in his 2014 Mandalay Bay case. Court documents say a housekeeper found the weapons, six in total, a scoped rifle pointing towards the strip. And now the situation is coming to light after 58 people died on October 1st after Stephen Paddock managed to get his weapons into the same hotel. All we have to do is establish that they had notice that something like this could happen. It's, it's the, the term is called foreseeability. Las Vegas attorney Robert Eglett is representing hundreds of victims in a negligence lawsuit against the hotel. And Eglett says this 2014 situation is strong evidence that Mandalay Bay and parent company MGM could have foreseen something like this happening. We don't have to show that there was a, an exact event just like this that occurred in the past. All we have to show is that they were on notice that something like this could happen. The Dunbar situation shows, yeah, something like this could happen and you were aware of it. Eglett feels Mandalay Bay should have taken some security measures after the Dunbar situation so that Paddock could not have gotten his weapons into his room on the 32nd floor just three years later. We think this is significant. I'm sure MGM's trying to downplay it, but they know it's significant. They know that.